Hello and welcome everyone, our heart here, and today I've got more Total War Saga Troy First Look Battle Preview gameplay for you guys. If you haven't already checked out my Achilles video, you can find it in the description and pinned to the top of the comment section. It's this battle but me playing as Achilles, checking out all of his units and what have you. So the plan is to fight this first on the easy mode, then we'll switch over to the hard mode, get some nice cinematic shots in that. Uh, we're going to go through Hector and all of his unit stats first uh, for all of his units. Check out his abilities and what have you. Check out that uh, Minotaur hero character. Um, obviously, this is a work in progress build, a, uh, a preview build. So balancing and things like that may not be final just yet. Probably be worked on a fair bit between now and release whenever that is. Um, playing this on ultra graphic settings. I can't show you guys the graphic settings. I'm only allowed to show you guys battle footage today. But I'm playing on ultra uh, settings. You can find my PC spec on my channel's about tab. And... Uh, this build was restricted to large unit size. I wasn't able to push it any higher than that. I think that's all the caveats I need to mention. So let's take a look Hector. at Hector and uh, his stats. And then we'll go through his units and then we'll crack on with the battles. So he is quite the tanky boy. 7,000 hit points. Solid. 60 melee attack. 1,163 damage. And he's got plenty of abilities which activate... When he has enough rage, which we gain by having him in combat. He's obviously got his uh, Aristia ability there. Ultimate ability. Extra armor and melee attack. So I'll hover over each of these abilities so you guys can pause the video. Have a good old read if you want to. So we've got Vanquish there. Yeah. We've got the Shout. Morale. Got the favor of Askelfius. Apologies if I butcher any pronunciations. Feel free to correct me down in the comment section. That's a heal. I found that really tough to deal with when I was playing as Achilles against Hector. Uh, earlier because they kept healing himself and his units. Heraclean Resolve. He's unbreakable and immortal. Damn. That's great. And uh, Divine Focus. Nice boost to weapon damage and uh, increases his attack interval. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's go through his units. We've got uh, left to right Trojan Defenders. They are heavy weight class. Slow battle speed, but uh, poor armor-piercing damage, but excellent defense. So these guys, they can really slug it out uh, with their clubs and shields. But uh, not great armor-piercing, but that's fine. They'll hold the line. That's what we need them to do. So we've got two Trojan Defenders. Then we've got Spears! heavy Trojan Spearmen, which are obviously heavy weight class. Slow battle speed again. Good defense. Shielded and can switch weapons. So again, this new feature with uh, Total War Saga Troy that we're seeing being introduced. They can uh, put their shields onto their backs. They're really cool shields as well. I really like them. Pop them on their backs. They do it one by one. Fairly slowly. I think they do it quicker when, the, when we're actually in battle and deployment. They seem to do it fairly leisurely. But yeah, then they grab their spear with both hands and you can see their, their attack increase. So we can actually compare the stats to this unit of heavy Trojan Spearmen that we haven't... Um, State your orders! Yeah. So we haven't switched to their alternate attack mode. So when we go up, we get extra speed, extra melee attack. Our Obviously, melee defense is reduced, fall. but Spears. they should get the, uh, yeah, rear shield defense. I don't know precisely what it does because it doesn't have a tool tip any further, but I'm assuming it gives them a bit of protection from being attacked from behind, maybe a bit of a, a missile block chance from behind. That's pretty cool that that's actually, you know, already kind of factored in. Um, obviously their damage is increased by plus 40 and they get a better charge bonus. So it kind of makes them into a bit more of an offensive shock troop, which is pretty Very cool. Well. I'll take them off that for now. Keep them as a solid line unit. Uh, and then we've got Champions of Troy. Even stronger uh, spear and shield infantry. And again, they can also toggle to alternate attack mode where they go two-handed spears. Really like this as a, as a feature. Definitely want to see more of that in uh, future Total Wars. All Total Wars going forward should have uh, multiple attack modes. I think so it's a nice feature for adding a little bit more depth and strategy to the uh, to the battles. So that really takes them up a notch. Another plus 40, 165 damage. Very nice game. We'll take them off that because we'll probably just start them off as solid line infantry. Got two units of Hector's Chosen. Oh boy. Medium weight class. Immune to flanking. Excellent attack. So these are Hector's um, answer to Achilles Myrmidon units. Very nice. 
And then we've got three units of renowned archers, which uh, I have a feeling archers are pretty OP in this build of the game. And as I said, probably see a fair bit of balancing changes between this build and uh, the final uh, game release, or even in a couple of months' time, perhaps, when, uh, if and when, get more early archers access. Ready. Hopefully we'll do. So, yeah, those are the archers. Uh, finally, we've got another hero today. We've got the uh, Minotaur. A mighty, mighty beast of a man. So, 1,180 damage. 68 melee attack. Oh, boy. So, he's a charger. Excellent attack. Excellent morale. Low armor, which makes sense. And uh, what are his abilities? He's got Savage Roar, drops enemy morale, and Bull Rush. Vex Bull Rush. It doesn't actually say what Bull Rush is, though, unless it says on here. No, I'm assuming what extra speed, surely? I guess we'll find out when we click it, see if any of his stats change. Okie dokie. Right, let's get these guys deployed. We've got solid center with our spears we want to avoid the mud over here i didn't utilize it that well in my kit in my achilles video i tried to draw the trojan heavy units through it so uh, they'd be uh, weakened because mud slows down heavy units and reduces their combat effectiveness so we want to avoid that we want to try and fight them over here um because achilles doesn't have too many heavy units it's mainly got light and medium so we'll push in and around this hill and try and avoid that area uh, although you guys you guys are medium i guess i could send you so we don't have any light troops even the bowmen are a medium yeah we'll have Spears. you guys over here and then you guys were also heavy weren't you so we don't want to pop you guys my well, hector's chosen on the right just in case you know, they get stuck in the mud it's not too much of an issue archers um i think you're off skirmish mode actually control you manually we outrange achilles Will do. missile troop so we should be fine and then we'll actually i might just throw both of these guys at, at achilles to try and bring him down chomp through him with two heroes all right let's see how things go Knocked and ready. March on. there he's got his javelin throwers so we'll move forward that we do have to worry about yeah the uh, central warriors Okay, so he doesn't get chariot. So the AI composition has changed a little bit. What I had. I'm not going to pause just because I've heard of a bug in this uh, preview build where I'll lose audio if I hit pause when playing as Hector. But he's got two of the Savage Center Warriors. If you want to see all these units kind of covered in more detail, although I didn't have Heavy Swordsman. Damn it, he does have heavy units. You need to use the mud. It's all changed. I thought I'd be playing against the same units I had. Apparently not. He's got renowned Club Warriors. Okay, much... Yeah, completely different uh, roster. But yeah, to go in through all of Achilles' troops in detail, do check out that Achilles video. I'm going to pull these, tuck these guys in, send those spears out that way. In fact, I'm going to send both of these spears over there to watch that cavalry. And tuck Hector's Chosen in there. Archers are just annihilating the missile troops, though. Which is fine. That's what we want to do. Oh, wow. Achilles is, is down at this point. Taking so much damage. Keeping busy. Might need to pull that unit over to the flanks. They're flanking me with those guys. We'll bring him down. There we go. So they're going to match combat. Duking it out with one another. The cavalry's gone in there. Oh, Bull Rush, I think, just lets him charge on through people because I can't give an attack order with him right now. Oh, it just gives him extra speed. Oh, no, Bull Rush, that's Savage Roar on them right now. 
Right, let's see these two. Arch is firing as well. That might bring down Achilles. Yep. <laughs> That's fairly apt. The Arch has brought him down. Yeah, this first battle on easy is going to be fairly quick. Seems like easy is very easy and hard is very hard in this uh, preview build of the game. Let's use this as an opportunity to check out the men in action. So yeah, the true challenge will come in the next battle on hard. But we'll have more troops. Achilles will have more troops. We'll go through all of his units then as well, I think, in, in slow-mo if we've got time. So yeah, these guys don't have sort of synced attack animations, but they do seem to strike fairly close to one another. This is built on the uh, the Warhammer engine, I believe. But it looks like, you know, they're constantly refining and building it up and things like that. Finding ways to improve it, make it better. Let's swap you guys. There we go. So yeah, they swap over much quicker in battle. As commanded. Done. Get Send in the bull. Or Hector. Uh, let's just heal yourself up, mate. You definitely get Hector stuck in tanking. That works. Divine might. Tanking enemy units in the next battle. I'm getting out of here. No mercy. Oh, so that costs, I see, Divine Focus, that costs one Rage per second. Of course. We all bend. I see. Right, well, the men are reforming. We've seen off Achilles and his forces today. To get a chance to take a look at some of their, some of their other troops. So the Heavy Swordsmen here. Might as well check out their stats now. So it looks like the sort of the heaviest units all have slow battle speed as a caveat to them. Let's get ready to do a big old, big old charge. Uh, what are the units that they got that we've not checked out before? I think it was the light swordsmen. Oh, we had we saw a variant of them. I think it was these guys. Yeah, the renowned club warriors. Oh, so they're two-handed clubs. Oh wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yep, yeah, we get it. You're all getting out of here. We get it. You're all running. Now Club Warriors. Yeah, don't think there are any other units then that we hadn't encountered before with Achilles. So we'll end the battle there and we will go straight into uh, playing this battle again on much harder difficulty. So here we are on the hard battle difficulty in this battle preview playing as Hector. As you can see, we've got more units now. We've got a total of 1,952 versus Achilles 1,723. Uh, we'll go through the new units, check out their stats, and then we'll crack on with the battle. So we've got spear fighters. Three of these guys I've popped in the tall grass over here on the right. Keep them hidden. Uh, these guys, they're a medium weight class. They're a charger. They've got slow battle speed. I wonder what actually causes them to have that. Uh, I guess if it's just their speed under a certain amount, then they get that that trait, I guess. Or may maybe it's a trait of Troy because they're a more defensive faction. I don't know. I guess we'll find out more when we get to check out some campaign gameplay, get to check out the factions. Hopefully that'll happen in the next few months. Although uh, Achilles, Achilles heavy units had that as well, didn't they? Hmm. I guess we'll find out when we get to play more. Uh, so yeah, I'll pop these guys in the tall grass so that they uh, will be hidden. Um... They do take a little penalty to their speed, as you can see there. They're down to, I think it's 95% oh, no, rather than 100. Shooting. So they're at 46 speed, uh, 48 when they're out of it. But yeah, I want them hidden there. Obviously, there's mud over here, which will uh, slow down heavier units and reduce their combat effectiveness. And obviously, trees uh, slow down, reduce combat efficiency of large units and allow some troops to hide, as well as provide a 40% chance for missiles to be blocked. So yeah, keep an eye on the train. That's what I'm getting most out of this battle preview. Terrain and flanking are kind of the, the key things uh, to take away at the moment. So, yes, Very going well. down the rest of the line, I've already deployed the troops in formation. We've got Hector's Chosen. Saw them in the easy battle. And we've got four units of Trojan defenders, the club and shield infantry. 
yeah, sort of my main line. They're slow battle speed, poor armor piercing damage, but excellent defense. They'll be able to hold. Uh, then moving along, we've got renowned swordsmen. So these guys, they're heavy. They're front line shielded, and they've got a special missile weapon. So when the enemy gets close, I guess they throw a dart or something like that. Try and check them out. Pretty cool. Four of them. Then we've got my spears, which I placed over here on the left to uh, hold this hill. Then we've got spears on each side, just in case that Achilles has lots of cavalry uh, or, or chariots even. I'm expecting chariots in this battle. So we've got champions of Troy again. And we've got guards of Troy. And these guys can all switch to their alternative attack where they put their shield on their backs and grip the spear with both hands. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, the archers, they are just archers. They're not renowned archers now. We still have, actually, I think the archers before they had 160 range. Can't actually remember. These guys have got 140 range. So hopefully we can take out Achilles uh, javelins. I've actually deployed a little bit back just because I want to try and draw Achilles to us because we've got the range advantage. At least I hope so. And obviously, we've got Hector and our Minotaur. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how things go. Hard battle. Can we win it? Okay. So, we'll slow motion it. I don't want to pause because apparently that will uh, lose me audio. Reinforced chariots. We've had them before. We played as uh, Achilles. We're now in spears. Yeah, they. this looks pretty much, I think, the same army then that I had by the looks of things. Remembered and Swordsman. So they, they are coming to me, which is good. They brought their cavalry forward. These guys don't have a lot of armor, if I'm not mistaken. 55. Might be able to take some of them out. They are shielded, though. And the uh, Ginian Runners, they've got a missile attack as well. I'll hit play. They've not seen my spears over here. So I'm going to bring them across now. Try and stop those chariots getting on round. Send those guys forward. Oh wow. All the javelins. Shredding that cavalry. Pull you guys back. Then the defenders forward. And then you guys pile on Achilles. Oh, nice to caught these guys. Flankety, flank, flank, flank. Let's do a nice slow motion pan down the battle line. I have a feeling this battle is going to be easier compared to Achilles on hard. These guys have broken through the line, though. They come in for the charge. Clubs out. Clashing. The spears in. See me shine. Yes to that. Hold back. Destroy the Yes. Very well. Those guys flanking us. That's not a deal. Archers focus in there. Spears go, go, go. Oh, you guys haven't got involved. Hector's chosen, tuck in. Push forward there. Actually, I'm going to pull you guys up and round to help out these guys. How's Achilles looking? No, heal yourself, Hector. You should vanquish. Immediately. At once. Okay. They've broken through me there. With their Myrmidons. They've sent their best units in. They pull back to reform that. Send in Hector's Chosen. Rally these guys over here. Just hold. We need to crack this unit of Thessalian Marines. Just like that. So we can then break the spearmen. 
pull you guys up here. Divine might. Let's trample them. Slaughter them. Strike true. They've, they've pushed the chariots back. That's good. Bring him down. We got more swords over here to support. Crack in there. Guards of Troy. Holding the line. Let's see how Hector's doing. The Minotaur. There we go. He's gone straight in for Achilles. Get out of the way, mate. The dueling. How is Achilles? Oh, ooh. Get heal. Achilles isn't messing around. Doing a lot more damage. Let's do that, though. Unbreakable. Powers him up a bit. We get the Minotaur to help out. Pull that unit of swords back. Keep the spears in there. Bring them around. There we go. And the mine tools in there as well. No mercy. I heard you. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Shield bash him. Swords. Carrots have just got through there because it's also being hit from all sides. Where are all the troops in there? That's it. Broken them. Ah, Guards of Troy are finally broken. They held well. Got off the spearmen. Here we go. Oh, he's terrified. Easily done. Sacred strike. As one. See me shine. Much health have you got? It's very even. Oh, okay, Achilles is gonna go down. Yeah, he's broken. No mercy. Go after him, Hector, if you can. I agree. Knocked and ready. Right away. Yes to that. Our warriors are on the way. I'm on it. Understand. Come on, see him off. I agree. Spear. Understood. Heal yourself up as well. He's not shattered, so he might come back. Actually, what's his speed? 27. 36. So he should catch him. Everything on numbers it is close. Oh, here we go. If we can bring these guys in to flank. And shatter the morale. Immediately. Willing and able. Guards go with Much closer than I thought it was gonna be. Why aren't you chasing him down? You're not on guard mode. Okay, I'm gonna let him run because we probably need Hector back in the combat here. Oh no, he's back. There we go. There we go. Final charge between Titans of the Age. That's a jab. Nice, that'll do. Kind of hoping for a nice synced kill. But that'll do. Acknowledged. Right away. 
Willing and able. Onward. I'm off. I'm assuming this is just a disruption run through in what the ability is meant to be, because you can't attack I'm while in it. Oh, my unit's breaking. Ah, that's not good. Pull back. You might still lose this. Haven't got enough time to give it another attempt, though. We obey. As you say. As commanded. So we might do round two. Unless Hector charging in now can uh, clutch us a win. I think seeing as they had no cavalry up on this side, probably should have my swordsmen up here rather than the spears. They're rallying back. Get him right in there. Stand with your men, Hector. Men are rallying. Even back in strength, though. I feel like the battle lines look pretty decent. Right away. They seem to sort of hold their their shape fairly well. They don't get too sort of squished into sort of overlapping and merge. They tend to hold their line quite nicely, even when they're pinned from both sides. So that's good. That makes the infantry combat look good. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, seriously, they broke us over here. Keep peeling up Hector. There we go. These guys are powered up. Oh, and they're healing as well. Nice. That's a. Uh, oh, it's around him, isn't it? Area effect heal. Sweet. You guys have come back. I'm not sure you'll be much use. I don't. I don't think the morale's going to hold. Sacred strike. It is very close. I mean, we're down to 97. They've got 207. Still not ending yet, though. I think it's because Hector's still going. Understood. That works. Easily done. Yes. Hector's chosen. These guys are unbreakable. Um, getting the feeling they are. No, no, they're not. They're just holding. Quite nice to see Hector go down with his men, I guess. Fighting to the last with his chosen. Taking some big damage there. there. Fighting to the last. Unfortunately, don't have enough time to do that battle again, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts about Total War Saga Troy down in the comment section. Until the next one, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride under the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one. Ciao for now.